Burger at Bonefish Grill. I'm guessing you've got no problem with pumpkin flavors since you're incorporating them into the dish today. I love fall. Oh my gosh, fall is the best time of year. Um, I've got the pumpkin ravioli with the swordfish and feta cheese and a little crispy onion, and it is awesome stuff. Okay, keep talking. Uh, keep going. Um, you sound very excited about the... I'm mm -hmm. super excited, and this is the best special that we've got all year long. Okay. Um, we start off with a little bit of Atlantic swordfish. Put mm -hmm. that on your grill. Have you retired your grill for the season yet? I don't retire my grill. There Never. is no grilling season. <laughs> it's year round. It's all year round. And actually, I grill more in, uh, in colder weather than I do in the summer. You know what? I agree with you. I'm right there with you. I don't really do it until fall and, uh, and winter. Mm -hmm. But we start off with some Atlantic swordfish. You put that on the grill or you can bake it. You can saute it in a pan. Now, if we, to we need to have a fishmonger, right, or something we, we really to do. trust, or something like this. What are we looking for if, we, if we're going to attempt this before we, or even after we go to Bonefish Grill, where it's going to be done to perfection? What do you look for in a, in a swordfish fillet, or give, is it a steak, or what do you call it? Give your folks at Kroger or, or, or Aldi or, or wherever you shop, mm -hmm. give them a call and, and see what it looks like. You want kind of a, a nice, kind of white, slightly purple, and... Okay. Obviously, the smell. You want it to have a really clean smell if to it. If it smells like fish, okay. leave it, <laughs> yeah, leave yeah, it exactly. there. Okay. The swordfish is fantastic. It's got kind of a medium flavor. Mm -hmm. It's steak like. Yeah, it's dense. It's right? really, really dense. But the star of this is this pumpkin ravioli. Okay. Not too sweet, not too savory. We put kind of a, a it's called a compound butter when you mix the seasonings in with butter, okay. and drizzle it on top a little feta to get a little more saltiness out of it, mm -hmm. and then some fried shallots and green onions on top. Wow. We started this about seven or eight years ago. We only have it for about two months a year. Okay. It's something that people look forward to. Yeah, it's seasonal, every appropriately seasonal. Year. <laughs> now, pumpkin pie, I'm not sure who tweeted. I could, I could do without the pumpkin pie. Okay. I don't know why. It's more for it, Amber. It's, it's just one of those things. But everything else pumpkin, pumpkin. I am All down in. for. Have you purchased any like decorative gourds yet for this season? Have I gotten pumpkins yellow yet? pumpkins yeah. and silver pumpkins and gray pumpkins and orange pumpkins? Okay. I have. Okay. <laughs> well, tomorrow's fall, so I'm going to stop complaining once once tomorrow hits. But uh, we haven't we haven't gone there yet. So, what is does it what, what's it does it lend itself to a doneness? Uh, you, you're just going to cook it throughout. All right. So about 135 degrees if you've got your handy dandy meat thermometer. Sure. The swordfish. When it's on the uh, when it's in a pan like this, it's probably going to be about eight or nine minutes. Okay. The other dish that we've got right now is an old-fashioned cedar plank salmon, and it is fantastic. A little bit of bourbon maple. Okay, glaze. I was going to say there's something more on that than just salmon. A burgundy wine-soaked cherry, a little fresh orange zest on top, wow. and that's a baked item too that we have. It is fantastic. It really lends itself with the maple and the orange and the deep cherry mm -hmm. to a really fall type comfort food. I normally try not to give unsolicited uh, cooking advice, but if you're gonna try a cedar plank salmon at home, you, you gotta soak the plank. You have to soak the plank. Because otherwise, all you're doing is starting a fire. At least 24 hours. Yeah, we soak, I didn't know that. We <laughs> soak it. And you know what, please I go I ate get, salmon all by myself. I still ate it, but it was awful. Please get food grade. Yeah, cedar planks. It's, yeah, you can't just go to Lowe's and uh, <laughs> and load up on yeah. some deck wood. <laughs> it's very spit. Yeah, it's it's very spit in the oven. I mean, I only thought about that. I didn't actually do that. I only thought about that. So we're gonna turn this over. Oh, you know, nice when line. we first started this uh, pumpkin ravioli, we we did a lot of trial and error. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it was way too sweet, and other times it was way too salty or savory. And, and what we found was with this swordfish is as great that, like I said, medium flavor that it's got pairs well with just a little bit of sweet, just mm -hmm. a little bit of that pumpkin fall flavor. Well, it's, there's a lot of nuance to finding these balanced entrees, right? You, you really have to, you know, the fish whisperer kind of whispers <laughs> to you and says, this is what we need. Um, <laughs> now, with this cedar plank salmon, Boy, mm -hmm. it is like a blank palette. You yeah. can you can do a whole lot with it, mm -hmm. and that's why we did this old fashioned mm -hmm. because of the cherry juice and the orange and that bourbon maple glaze. Yeah, are you are you a bourbon fan? I am, especially when it's on a on a meat. 
I started <laughs> using this uh, Maker's 46. It's got kind of a charcoal flavor. It really pairs okay. well with the salmon. Nice. Super, super well. We're going to talk about, you're going to let you, let you finish that. We're going to talk about a, 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 an appropriate cocktail for fall coming I'm up, happy. right? I'm happy. I'm ready. And uh, we'll talk family bundles, too. We'll do it. We'll do all that. We got the link on IdentityStyle.tv. Amber? Mm -hmm.